Hi, welcome to Sam and Kev's Outdoor Adventures. I'm Kev. Today I'm in the Mount Thomas Forest Conservation Area and I'm making my way up to Bob's Camp Bivy. Um, originally, Sam and I were meant to be heading out on a tramp together this weekend, but um, unfortunately, living in different cities, there's quite a lot of rain and uh, we couldn't find anywhere in between where the two of us lived that was suitable, so I'm out on my own. Today's uh, tramp here, park your vehicle in the wooded gully car park and then it kicks off with about a 300 metre to 400 metre walk along a gravel road before you dive off into the uh, pine plantation and start the track going up what they call the ridge track which eventually will join up with the pathway that will take us to um, Bob Camp's Biv. So I'm about three quarters of an hour in and I've just hit the edge of the um, conservation area so into the beech trees. Um, it's been about a 300 meter climb so far and um, a spectacular view out over the Canterbury Plains and down into Banks Peninsula and uh, the Port Hills in Christchurch. It does look a little bit uh, overcast and stormy there so we might get some rain later. On the way up there's a little sort of I guess you'd call it a shortcut where the track goes or you can carry on up the road. Own up the track, not really that easy to find your way so um, I think you're probably better to stick to the road. So I'll mark that on a topo map as a little bit of a dotted line to show you where I think you should go if you want to come up this way yourself. So I've made it up to the top ridge track. It's taken me probably just a little bit over two hours. Um, haven't really been going that fast. Um, the ridge track you can head out to the right uh, and get to the top of Mount Thomas um, all the way that I'm going, which is kind of, uh, I guess, kicking back to the left almost uh, towards Bob's Camp Pivy. The weather's turned a little bit. It's um, getting a few scattered showers, so hopefully they pass because uh, don't really need those once we get out of the bush. So um, off we go. So we're a little bit under three hours in and we've got to another intersection so um, I'm heading off to Bob's Camp Bivy which is that way but tomorrow morning hopefully I'm going to come up this Follow Ridge route um, from the Pinch Gun Hut so uh, they're going to be popping up over there behind me so um, about a half that's not too bad to get there there's only two beds in the hut so I um, don't know if I'll be in the hut or in a tent outside we'll, uh, when we get there.
And here we go. Here is Bob Camp, Bob's Camp Biv. You can see on the um, outside there's a nice outdoor fireplace. There's a couple of flat places around where we can uh, pitch our tent if we want it. But let's um, get inside and see what we can see. It's um, pretty small. Uh, we've got two bunks here. There's a window heading outside, um, a small bench, and uh, and that's it. Very similar to the Biv Kahutara that Sam and I went to. But um, first things first, um, I need to go and find a water source. So there's a river just to the east of here. It looks like it's about 50 metres away and fill up because uh, I've run out of water on the way up and I'm a bit thirsty. Well, it's not a big stream, but it's nice and close to the hut, so um, we'll slowly fill our water bottles up from here and we'll be, we'll be good. There's quite a lot of windfall here, right next to the hut, so we might try and cut it up, see if we can get a fire going in that fireplace. It's possibly a little bit green, but um, if it is, at least there'll be some cut up for the person that comes next time. <laughs> Here we go, here's home sweet home uh, for the night. Not in the, the uh, Bob's Camp Biv, which is where you think you'd go. Um, a little bit of firewood be collected there though, so that should make a nice fire tonight um, and have to do a bit of cleaning up. But home sweet home tonight is over here. We've put the tent up. Uh, it was raining when I got here, but it's come out relatively sunny. So um, we'll spend the night in the tent, although I got most of the gear still sitting in the middle of the hut so looking in here it's got the sleeping bag and a little bit of an air mattress so that'll be nice and cozy the sun's coming out through the trees um, it should be a glorious night I wasn't so sure that this fire was going to work there was um quite well it's still raining just a little bit of a drizzle the wood was quite wet but we've managed to um build up a bit of an ember base and it's going quite well. tent all the rain's passed looks like it's going to be a nice sunny day today but um, a little bit more wind than there was yesterday but uh, first thing on the agenda get some breakfast So we are a little bit disorganised uh, getting ready for this tramp yesterday. So tea last night consisted of two minute noodles, which isn't, isn't really my favourite. But we've done a little bit better for breakfast when we raided the pantry. So we've got um, nice hot chocolate. And uh, bacon and egg bagels. So they should all be pretty good once we get them cooked. So here we go, bacon egg bagels, a Milo, and we've um, even managed to coax the fire from last night back to the line. So um, what a great breakfast.
So that was Bob's Camp Biv, and uh, that is really quite a nice, cute wee little sort of a hut, um, located pretty close to Christchurch, uh, in the Mount Thomas Forest Conservation Area, and probably somewhere between about four and a half to five hours to get into. Um, next up, I'm going to make my way now to the Pinchka Hut, it starts with a bit of a climb back out from um, Bob's Biv, Bob's Camp Biv, and um, she was pretty muddy on the way down, so uh, that first, this first little bit this morning is going to be a little bit of a slog, but it's uh, looking like a really nice sunny day, so that's a good way to start the day. So we've made it back up to the main route, it really didn't take too long, and now we're heading on off by the Cattle Peak route. Um, she's a bit windy, but uh, it's fantastically sunny, so that's uh, much nicer than yesterday. thing to remember coming down the um, Cattle Ridge route is that um, it's, a, it's a polled route, an unmaintained route. So um, although the poles come with pretty good regularity, you can't always see the next one um, as you get along to um, the next one that you've seen. So uh, rule of thumb, just stick to the top of the ridge and you're probably going to be okay. But um, it's still reasonably easy to find your way through. As you get closer to um, Pinch Gut Hut, the track actually drops off the ridge. So that's about when there's a, about 350 metres vertical to go. Um, it turns off to the, I guess the north, or to the, as you're coming down, out to your left, off the ridge, and drops down, um, down towards the hut. So here we have Pinch Gut Hut. It's taken me about two and a quarter hours from Bob Camp Bivy um, to get down here to Pinch Gut Hut. Mainly downhill. So we'll um, head on inside and have a look. Hut split into two areas. We've got this living area that's got a nice potbelly stove, a really long bench and a table and then coming through into the sleeping area where we've got six bunks so this really is quite a nice wee hut so i've grabbed myself a slightly early lunch at pinch gut hut and I'm now making my way up the photo ridge or the photo route um looking at the sign it's about five hours back to Wooded Gully, so a um, reasonable chunk of that is going to be in this climb. Uh, filled up the water, because I don't think we're going to come across any streams until we get back to Wooded Gully, so might be a little bit of a slog, but at least the weather's nice and sunny. So we're at about the 700 metre vertical mark. Taking a little bit under an hour from the hut to get up to here. It's been quite steep going, 
but it flattens out a bit um, from here. In behind me, you can see Fore Ridge, which is where I'm heading up. If we uh, come around this way a little bit, you can see the Cattle Peak route that I um, have come down this morning. And in behind me this way is um, up towards Mount Thomas, and where I originally came up on day one, which is where I'm heading back this afternoon to um, get back to the Ridge Trap and um, down to Wooded Gully Car Park. So we've made it back to the um, junction where you can go to Bob's Camp Bivy or head back to the Ridge Track, um, which I came up originally yesterday. So I have to say this has been an absolutely fantastic tramp. I've really enjoyed it. Two marvellous huts. Um, a little bit of climbing, but not too much. Um, by the time I get back to Wooded Gully Car Park today, I will have been going about seven and a half hours, I guess, um, by the time I get there. But um, thank you very much for watching. Um, and uh, hopefully Sam and I will see you next time we're out tramping.